Hello everybody, this is part 9 of the Speed Passion LM1 build series. Uh, in part 9 we will be uh, focusing on the rear pod and rear suspension system and uh, before I carry on what I have done is gone ahead and I've put all uh, the posts on to the chassis and I've also started on a few little things again as usual purely just to save on time so uh, what I'll, we will do first is I'll go through uh, this is the top damper mount uh, your shock oil filled shock will attach to here I've attached pillow ball and, and lock nut onto there and I've attached a pillow ball to the bottom this is for the um, friction side damper and here is the lower part for the friction damper and as you can see I have a side spring attached and that is for the suspension for the side to side movement and so what we'll do now is I will carry on what we need to do here is we'll attach the second spring and that requires this little part here this is what the spring clips onto and we need a long set screw which I have in my hand now what we need is our 1.5 millimeter driver and we'll just screw it on lightly because what we'll need to do is we'll need to set uh, the distance so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it set so it is flush with the screw so just bear with me a sec people okay now what we'll do is we'll take it off we'll put the driver through then we'll put the set screw back on now, oh, butterfingers. Okay, so with a little bit of pressure, hold it on, and what we'll do is we'll reverse it. So we're, if we're as if we were loosening it, but technically we're tightening it on. So we'll put it on here. Okay, simple. Now what we'll do, quite simply, it's a, like a cone shaped with a flat inner circle which allows the spring to just clip on. Just a little bit of, just requires just a little bit of effort, not a lot. And there we have it. Just clicks on, like that. Okay, so um, what we need to do now is set it so it's equal to the second to the second spring okay it's actually I've just nailed it so okay so what we'll do is we'll leave that on there now so that and when I should mention too um, the posts here not that the battery ones matter but uh, the rear, well, they're all got like a hex on them, and this lower part for the damper mount is has a hex that it sits on. So you, you want the hexes to be in line for this to sit down on. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll screw it on. So we need a flat screw, two millimeter driver, and we'll just screw this on. Also, when I'm after I've finished building the chassis, what I'll do is I'll go over it and I'll set it up. This is purely just to show you how to assemble it, and we'll go on from there. So now we need a pillow ball screw, which just screws in. There we go. Easy. All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, do the friction damper. Now what it is, all it is, is two sides here. Uh, I have put 
uh, ball cups on the ends of them. I don't know why they're already pre-assembled like that, but simply just goes in like that. But in order for it to have effectiveness, we need to put some grease. So we need our grease. This is just a bit of old antenna tube. So we need to put a uh, decent amount on. Okay, so get it on, move it around. Put a bit more on. Don't have to put tons of it on though. Okay. Because you want it to get into the grooves. Like that. Well, that's how you want it to look. I know it looks disgusting, but <laughs> that's part of it. Okay, so now just as a matter of putting it in. And when you do it, move it back and forth like that. And what we'll need to do with a rag, just wipe off any excess. like so quite simple really so now what we'll do is we'll get we'll attach the friction damper to the upper part there we go then we'll attach it to the lower part Might need my pliers for this one. Yeah. Okay, so now what we have to do is get some screws. And we will need two of the button head screws. Now we need our two millimeter driver. And of course, it's metal on metal. I almost forgot. Little thread lock. I just realized I didn't have to put thread lock on this one because it's plastic, but you know, old habits die hard with other kits where it's all metal. Okay, so that's the side dampers, or side damper. Okay, so that's it. So how it works is it, it acts as a damper for the side to side action. So that's the end of that, so stay tuned for part 10 where I will actually go ahead and build the shocks, so stay tuned.